Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Survival Guide for Minecraft 1.12. In this video, we're going to be going through all of the survival changes for the Minecraft 1.12 update. And if you're new to Minecraft or haven't played in a while and want to know what's new, don't worry. I have Ultimate Survival Guides going all the way back to Minecraft 1.8 that you can watch and the links will be in the description to those videos. But for Minecraft 1.12, there's a lot we need to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and split the video up into three sections. The first section of this Ultimate Survival Guide will cover the new blocks and new recipes in the game. The second section will cover the new mobs. And the third section will cover miscellaneous changes to the game. So, go ahead and click on the timestamps in the description, or just wait, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first set of blocks we're going to take a look at is the concrete. So we got regular concrete on the bottom here, and concrete powder on the top. So we have 32 new blocks in total here, 16 of each type, and they come in all different colors. And the way you craft up the concrete is you must first craft up concrete powder. So we put in four sand blocks and four gravel blocks along with whatever color dye you want for that color of concrete powder. So here I'm making red. And that gets you your concrete powder. Now the concrete powder, it is affected by gravity as you can see here. And it will also turn into concrete if you put it into water. So if I put the concrete powder right down there, you see it turns into solid concrete. And then we can just simply mine it out. And there we have our concrete which is not affected by gravity. So that is the concrete powder and concrete blocks. The next new set of blocks are glazed terracotta blocks and they look like this. We'll get to these in a second. But first of all, the way you make these glazed terracotta blocks, you put regular terracotta, which used to be called hardened clay, into a furnace, smelt it up, and that becomes the glazed version of whatever color you put into your furnace. So that is how you make glazed terracotta, just by putting regular terracotta, the old hardened clay, into a furnace. And here are the design patterns for the glazed terracotta. Now, all these have sort of a two by two design pattern, but you can arrange them in a number of different ways. So here are a few of the patterns. So this is white glazed terracotta, orange, magenta, light blue, lime, pink, this is gray, light gray, this is cyan glazed terracotta, purple terracotta. We have blue glazed terracotta here, brown, green, red, and black glazed terracotta right there. So a number of different color patterns and a variety of shapes you can make with these glazed terracotta blocks. And so one unique feature of the glazed terracotta compared to a normal block like say dirt is that glazed terracotta can actually be pushed by slime blocks, but it cannot be pulled by slime blocks. So, you see this dirt, it is pushed and pulled by slime blocks, but the glazed terracotta is pushed, but it is not pulled. And also, it doesn't connect to a slime block on the side like that. So, that is kind of an interesting feature. So, glazed terracotta has sort of a unique use in that sense. And the final new blocks we have this week are colored beds. So we have beds in 16 varieties of colors now. And the way you craft them is as follows. So just wood on the bottom and then the wool color of your choice on the top. And that gets you your colored bed, just like so. Now because we have colored beds, there is one slight caveat to this. And that is that you can no longer make beds with different colors of wool. So if I had two white wool and a gray wool, or let's say a blue wool, I can't make a bed with those. It has to be all the same color in order to make a bed now. So that is a little bit of a change, especially for early game. Also, it's worth noting that if you land on a bed now, the bed is actually slightly bouncy, and also it reduces fall damage by quite a bit. So you see I took only one heart of damage there. If I were to jump off from the same height over here, you'll see I take quite a bit more damage. So beds do help reduce fall damage and are also a little bit bouncy now. Now let's move on to the new mobs. So one of the new mobs this update is the parrot. So this is what the parrot looks like right there. There's a couple of different varieties here. I'll just spawn in a few so we can see the different varieties. So we have blue, gray, green, and red varieties. So that is the parrot right there. So what do parrots do? Parrots imitate mob sounds nearby. So they're very useful in perhaps alerting you to creepers and caves or something like that. You can tame the parrots with some seeds, so I'll just tame this guy right here. Sometimes takes a little bit of time, but there we go, yep. So yeah, you can tame your parrot, and you can right-click on them to sit them down. 
So parrots, like other tame mobs, will actually teleport to you if you get too far away. So I will just demonstrate that here. You can see if I get a little too far away, the tamed parrots will follow me. Another cool thing about parrots is that you can actually perch them on your shoulder if they're tamed. So if I walk toward this parrot here, this one is a tamed one, and if I, yeah, basically run into them, you'll see that the parrots actually will perch on top of my shoulder, which is pretty interesting. And the way you get them off is you just simply jump, and they will then no longer be on your shoulder, and then just walk back into them to get them back on your shoulder just like that. Also, be aware of your parrots, guys, because on very rare occasions, parrots can indeed make mob sounds which they've never heard and which are not nearby. So just be aware that sometimes they can be a little bit deceptive. Another interesting thing about parrots is if they're close to a jukebox, when a music disc plays, they will actually start to dance along to the beat. Also be certain not to feed your parrots cookies, otherwise they will be killed. The final thing to know about parrots is where they spawn, and so they spawn in jungle biomes, and if you have an older world, they actually will spawn there too. So be sure to check even your old jungles for parrots. Now on to the miscellaneous changes for this update. So first change is that magma blocks that are lit on fire will now burn indefinitely. So this will never go out, very similar to netherrack. You can now sleep next to passive zombie pigmen. And since Minecraft 1.12 is the world of color update, there have been significant changes to the colors and or textures of sheep, of banners, of wool and carpets, of shulker boxes, and also to map colors to accommodate some of the new blocks. So a lot of changes to colorful blocks in this update. One small but much requested feature that has changed is the placement of paintings in the game. So you are now able to get the correct painting that you want much quicker. And the way that works is as follows. So now the game will always try to place the biggest painting that it can. So here you see I am placing all 4x4s right here. But if I were to say, want a, let's say I wanted a 2x1. So we'll just go like this and box in a little 2x1 area. Now it'll only place 2x1s in this area. And if I wanted, let's say, 1x1, one one, just make a 1x1 one one hole here, and it'll always give me a 1x1 one one in that hole. And same thing over here if I do a 2x2, two two, just like that. See, I always get a 2x2 two two painting. This next change is probably one of the most significant changes to the game in Minecraft history, and it is the addition of a recipe book to the vanilla game. So let me go ahead and click on this. I'll go into the crafting table and click on it. And you'll see that a whole new interface here pops up. Now, there's a lot to this, so let me sort of explain. I'll start on the left side and work, work my way over. So first of all, we have some tabs over here. These are just general organization for things you can craft here. And so this, for instance, holds all your tool and armor recipes that you've learned. This holds all the blocks and stairs recipes. This is all the food and the fuel and things like that. And this is all the redstone recipes you've learned. Now, once you learn a recipe, it will show up here and remain here for the remainder of your time on that world. And there's also a search function. So let's say we wanted to craft up, let's say, a pickaxe. Uh, so let's put in pick right there. And you see all the pickaxes that are available to craft that we've learned are right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, click on one. So let's click on wooden pickaxe. So you'll see, first of all, the outline to this is red, which means we do not have the necessary materials to craft a wooden pickaxe. And so it's telling us we need wood and sticks, of course, to make a pickaxe. And so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and look up sticks. So let's just do sticks. And you see sticks come up with a white border. And, of course, since we have wood planks in our inventory, we can craft sticks. We just click on that. It pulls two wooden planks into the crafting table automatically for us. Or if we shift-click, it pulls all the materials we have into the inventory. So let's just go ahead and do... Let's just do one here. So let's just do that. Get our sticks. And now, if we come back here and type pickaxe, we can now craft... You have wooden pickaxe and iron pickaxe. Let's just go with the iron. It'll pull everything in. If I were to shift click again, it'll pull all the necessary materials in and then we can just simply pull out the pickaxe from the crafting table. So that is how that works and this is actually really, really useful uh, for things like mass crafting. So let's say I wanted to craft up like a bunch of doors. I would just simply shift click uh, once, once we have the spruce up. There we go. So shift click on this uh, crafting recipe here. It pulls all the wood into the crafting table and then we can just shift click it right on out like that. So 
This makes mass crafting, especially of like ore blocks and things, very, very, very quick. And one final thing, this button up here, this will either show all the recipes, so it's showing all the recipes here, or we can change it to just show what is craftable with the materials in our inventory right here. So that is what that button does. And so that is the recipe book right there, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very useful tool in Minecraft 1.12. There's also a slight Easter egg when typing in the search menu of your recipe book. If you type in excited ZE, it will actually automatically change your language to pirate speak. So you can see now everything has changed to pirate speak. And if I go ahead and just back out of this, we'll see that, yeah, spade of timber, timber cutlass, yeah, everything is all in pirate speak now. So that is sort of a unique Easter egg. And it won't actually change back unless you change it. So, yeah, just be aware of that small Easter egg. The next feature here is also a major, major change to the game, and that is advancements. So, we used to have achievements in Minecraft. Now we have what are called advancements. And if we hit escape, we can go right into advancements. But actually, we don't actually need to do that. We can actually hit, let's see, I believe it is Control and L. And that will then take us right to the advancements menu. And so you'll see this sort of has a progression that you can follow to advance in the game to different levels. And there are more advancements than just this. Let me go ahead and I will do a advancement, grant myself everything. So it's going to grant me all the advancements. You can see some of them coming up on the side there. So yeah, you will see there are tons and tons of different advancements. And let me just hit control plus L and we'll go back in and take a look. So, yeah, you can see there are a lot of advancements in multiple different tabs here. So there are adventure ad advancements, there are end advancements, nether advancements here, and other uh, farm-related advancements and things like that. Now, there are some things to note in here. First of all, all the advancements with, like, a square shape, those are the normal advancements. And you'll see there are some with sort of like these jagged edges here. Those are the challenge advancements. Those are some of the more advanced ones, and they're a lot more difficult to achieve. And as such, with each of the challenge advancements, you will actually get XP from obtaining them. So, for instance, like this one here, you get a, a little bit of XP for rescuing a gas from the nether, bringing it to the overworld, and then killing it. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a challenge, so that will actually get you some XP, as will some of these other ones here. So I'm not going to go through all these, but, yeah, definitely is worth looking into these and... Uh, you can also customize these as uh, sort of a side note in your own world. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, so those are advancements replacing achievements in Minecraft 1.12. There's also a new feature in regards to the crafting table. So now if you leave items in the crafting table, let's say like this, whenever you leave the crafting interface, you will have those items put back into your inventory upon leaving it. So I'll leave this in here and you'll see it'll pop back into my inventory automatically so that is pretty useful especially when you're crafting up a lot of blocks and just want to like leave things in there just like that you'll see the ironing it's just popped right back in so that is useful no more throwing items on the ground when you leave the inventory they'll all come right back in automatically you can now place snow layers and torches on upside down stairs and slabs and things like glass panes and iron bars will now connect to the back side of upside down stairs also new in Minecraft 1.12, we now have a narrator for those of you who are visually impaired or just want to have your chat read to you. So, all you have to do to activate the narrator is hit Control plus B. Narrator. Narrates all. And there we go, it's going to narrate everything now. If I hit Control plus B again. Narrator. Narrates chat. Now it'll narrate only the chat, so if I type something in here. Cupfin135 says hi there. It narrates it, and then we have another setting. Narrator. Narrates system. Narrates only the system. Narrator off and then we can disable it once again so that is the narrator in minecraft 1.12 one small change to minecraft 1.12 is that now if you walk backwards your player does not turn sideways and instead continues facing forward while walking straight back there are also new note block sounds in this update so we have a new xylophone note block sound made by placing a note block over a bone block that's the xylophone there then we have the bell which is a gold block placed underneath a note block. Have a flute, which is clay under a note block. 
We have a chime, which is packed ice underneath a note block. And we have the guitar, which is wool underneath a note block. There's also a bunch more new sounds this update, some of which include casting and reeling in a fishing rod. Throwing an Eye of Ender and watching the item pop or explode. Putting an Eye of Ender into an end portal. And there are also new paddle sounds for boats, and interestingly enough, there's actually a different sound for land and for water. So let's just see what we got here. That's the land sound, and if we come on down here, the water sound is much more realistic for what you think of in a boat. You can now place ladders on the backs of stairs. There are also new sounds when you're hurt by fire. And there are also new drowning sounds. And finally guys, melons, pumpkins, and jack-o'-lanterns will now no longer connect to fences and walls. So those are all the survival changes in Minecraft 1.12, and as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, it does help out the channel a lot, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, this has been Cub. Goodbye.